Good day everyone, my name is Mahilan and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I am in a remote place in Northern Territory, Australia and today we are going to do an interesting thing. Today we are going to go into the bush and search for gold by doing a bit of gold deduction. Gold deduction in Australia is one of the hobbies some Australians follow and there are some stories of few people who got super rich by doing this gold deduction. I have one of my friends who has quite long experience in this gold hunting and he's the one who is going to take us into the bush for gold hunting. So we are going to go into the bush, do a bit of gold hunting and if we are lucky enough we will return with some gold. If you guys are watching this channel for the first time, I would like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon and before we go searching for the gold. Let's ask our mate Richard a few questions about gold deduction. All right, we got Richard here. Richard is doing uh, gold hunting. Is yes. That, is that how it's called? Or gold detecting. Okay, gold hunting or gold detecting. He's doing that for a long time. We got a few questions to ask him. Uh, let's start. So, great Richard. Thanks for uh, no answering a few questions on my channel. So, no uh, the first one, um, how long? you have been doing this gold hunting? Uh, we went on a family trip around Western Australia back in 2013 okay. and I decided to get a gold detector then so that I could do a bit of fossicking whilst we were traveling. Yeah, right. So, yeah, so that's how, nine years. that's how it started. Yeah. Nice. Um, okay, so gold hunting, is that legal in Australia and where we can do that? Well, that's a really good question yeah. because um, in every state you pretty much need a fossicking license okay like a driver's license or a fishing license they need or, to or just like a firearm license yeah yep. so you you apply to the uh, Department of Lands and Minerals and Mining yeah um, in each state um, and they you pay a small fee it might be 20 or 30 dollars mm -hmm. they send you a certificate electronically or in paper and then you can um, fossick which means it's non-mechanical instruments. Okay. So that's an important differentiation. Yeah. Because once you go to a mechanical instrument, it's mining, mm, okay. and that's a whole new game. Yeah, it's 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 just using non-mechanical instruments, and and you can do in any property, not other than the private ones and the government-owned right. ones. Right. So um, in each state, they have <coughs> um, free. Fossicking areas that okay. are mapped, yep. and you, and uh, the place where you get your license, they can provide you with that. Oh, okay. Um, you can also write to a lot of um, farmers mm -hmm. that have freehold leases on the land. Yep. Um, and under the law, you you actually need to ask permission to go on the property, mm -hmm. and then they're supposed to reply with okay, but only during certain times because yep. if someone is on a on a leased land from mm -hmm. the government. Yep. Um, it's a, a thing that they allow you to go on there, but you have to work with the lease owner because they might be mustering in a yep. certain area, so they don't want you in that area because you get trampled on by the cattle. Yep. Um, or they might be doing an eradication of wild pigs and yep. shooting, so yep. they don't want you getting shot. Oh yeah, that's um, right. And they've got a lot of fences mm. and gates and so they need to know when you're on that property that you understand which gates need to be shut and, yeah. and all True. that. Yeah. You always have to go to the homestead first, yeah. introduce yourself and then so on. Yeah. Other places have uh, mining companies already on them mm -hmm. and they're very protective yeah, of the resource. And you so can't even enter there. Yeah. yeah, but if you work for a mining company, oh, you, can, do that, can, you can ask the boss and they'll say you, you can go out and yeah. toss it. Yeah. Okay. So other than gold, do you detect any other metals and uh, get them? Uh, my passion is really looking for the gold. Gold, okay. Yeah. Is there yeah. any other people do other than gold? Yes, there's uh, gems. There's, gems yeah. okay. So just north of Alice Springs, yep. um, to the east, mm -hmm. northeast, um, there's Hearts Range, yep. and out of there you can find rubies um, okay. and those sort of crystal type gems, yep. which are in good condition, can be um, faced professionally yep. and made into really good jewellery. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah. There's a lot of other 
types of rocks. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you go to rock clubs, um, lapidary, I think mm -hmm. it's called. Yep. <coughs> I might have said that a bit <coughs> wrong, but lapidary is uh, where they're a rock club and they're out looking at different types of fossilised rock, sometimes wood fossilised or, or different types of uh, marble rock and things like that that um, they face up and make jewellery out of things like that. Yeah, okay. so, so in your passion, in your, in your period, how much gold you have already deducted how much gold you have got already? I've been given more than I have found. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm just I'm asking: is that, is that worth to spend time like that and to invest on the tools you are yeah, using? Yeah. Well, again, this is a very good question, it, and it's very personal decision. For people yeah, it's up to you on, to answer. Yeah. Based on their um, uh, free money and time to do it. So, first of all, I guess you need an interest in geology. Mm -hmm. uh, you need an interest in being outdoors. Yeah, other than getting gold, you need to know about the metals and crystals and well, all the minerals which yeah, you can see yeah, in the geology. I, I, it helps, yep. but you don't have to know them. But you need to be one that's happy to walk out in the bush. Yeah, you need to be curious about them. You know, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know, you know, you might also be looking at the nature mm -hmm. and birds flying around, or uh, backpacking and hiking, and, and so you might be combining the, the interest. Yeah, true. But some people prefer to be indoors and not go out because they might get snakes and yeah. pigs and animals and things like this. So. Yeah. And then it can be also a bit of a lonely thing because you can be out there on your own and you mm. might be frightened about the True. car breaking down and how do you get home. So yep. you have to definitely let some family or friends know roughly where you're going mm. yep. in case you don't come back in time. So you have to be a sort of person who's happy with doing all those things and then have the money to spare. An introductory price is about $1,000. For the detector, and then mm -hmm. it's a pick and some shoes and yeah. protective gear. All the gears, protective instruments, yeah. But I would look at it like this: you can be a fisherman mm -hmm. or person, yeah, and have a great passion for fishing. Yeah, it depends on the passion you're so having. So you, know? yeah. you you might do riverbank fishing, where yeah. you just get a, a rod or a hand line and you just walk up and down the banks and, and fish that way. Yeah. Or you might go that step further and buy a boat, or hire a boat, yep. and then I guess it becomes more interesting depending you on how much boat. you're catching yeah. and all of that. Yep. Uh, for me, uh, I haven't really struck it rich, as they might yep. say, gold detecting. Yep. Uh, so it's a hobby, it's yep. not a, um, a money earner. <clears throat> and when I have free time yep. and uh, go energy, and yep. I go out and do it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I do love the outdoors. I'm from the territory, so yeah. I love the outdoors, and I love the uh, the tranquility, the space, the yeah. sure. the ability to, to escape the the noise and the and the, the business. Yeah, you just want to get out of the, the missionary life and enjoy some nature with some passionate things. Yeah. In there. yeah. So it, it, you know, different people have a uh, different, different interests. Passions, Backpacking. Yeah. yeah. So if you go backpacking through the mountains and rainforests, you've got the best boots, the yeah. best jackets, Katmandu suits, yeah, backpacks, yeah. you've got all this miniature burners and food and dry packs yeah. and the more you invest in it, the more passion you have in doing that yeah. and I guess with gold detecting, <coughs> it's, a, it's, it's an interest in, I guess, the hope of finding yeah. gold yeah. and making it rich yeah. and also the, yeah, the, the real ability to have that free money to spend on the, yep. the value detectors mm, and true. the time yep. to go out because you can spend two hours and find nothing. Yeah, just like fishing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Anyway, so this is my first time I heard gold deducting in Australia and how it's going to be going to be done. Yeah. So today right. we are going to go out and do some gold deducting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And I'll give you a few tips and tricks along yeah, the way. Yeah, definitely. I reckon I'll help you recognize a few things. Yeah, I reckon I will learn something new today. I'm I'm pretty much excited. So great. let's go out and do some gold detecting. Let's do that. That'd Thanks, be great. Richard. No Thank worries. you. All right. Now Richard is setting up his gold detector. He's checking whether it is working properly, and you guys can hear it is making more beep noise 
when he is scanning over his ring in the finger. Our tools are ready now guys. We got our gold detector along with a headset, a pinpoint detector, safety gloves and a bag. We are also carrying a prospecting pick and a scoop to dig and collect the samples where necessary. But it won't be in the What soil. Richard is saying now yes, is can. gold and yeah. other metals are usually found in rocks like this. Um, they can be mixed with soil go. and other uh, tiny particles. Oh, mm -hmm. When we use yeah. our metal detector yeah. and if we get any beep sound on oh, any okay. rocks like so, this, it is oh, worth gee, taking and checking them very well. Yeah, right. Yeah. All right, yeah. guys, let's mm -hmm. keep walking now. Find we need to go more like into the bush to start detecting the gold. Somewhere, yeah, somewhere there. Yeah. There's no yeah. power line. In this place, you can see a few jello colored rocks. Richard is saying that there is a possibility to gold mixed in these kind of rocks. There are also a few other different kinds of rocks in this place. As you see here, some of the rocks here are already broken and I reckon there should be someone visited and searched for gold in this place. You guys can see we are here in a hilly place where there are a lot of rocks. We are going to climb over these rocks and go to the other side to check what kind of rocks are available on the other side. I reckon Richard and Peter are looking at something. Let's go and see what they are looking at. Oh, these are some form of quartz here, guys. Quartz, quartz is a yes. common form of mineral and in a wide really range of rocks. This one here is also a crystallized quartz. As you see, guys, you can see a big layer of smoke formed at the oh, far. Okay. It is because of the controlled mm -hmm. fire taking place in the bush and because of smoke spreading all around, mm -hmm. snakes can come out. We need Go to be mindful, mindful of our steps while we walk in the bush. Now we are at the top of this hill and when you guys look at that side, you can see Lake Bennett, which is one of the famous lakes in Northern Territory. This place is getting more smoke now guys. It's uh, it's crystal. It's, it's crystal. Yeah, it's it's um. A topaz. In this place, we can find some crystal pieces. Keep that as a sample. Good to keep it, and you can get it jeweler to properly face it. This is one of the and crystal pieces, and, and you can see it is shining a bit. Moment, but it will be. It looks like glass, but it's not. That's crystal. No, yeah. that's crystal. Maybe that's what they've been looking at because sometimes you get... Um, this one is a crystal particle in the shape of a glass, guys. 
very small and shiny. It's really interesting. Look at these two different it, kinds of crystal pieces. In, uh, they look different in and in it's white color. Volcanic lava you can see a few color. more various kinds of it's, rock pieces and crystals really in this place. Clear, it'll be quite clear. I am adjust this. All right, guys, let's set up our gold deduction now and on. start yeah. doing the gold deduction no, from here. Is for me to put my headphones on mm. and and turn the headphone volume down. Yeah, right, because it's very noisy in, in, in your ears, mm. is it? This gold detector normally detects gold, other metals and minerals and makes beeping sound. If we hear any beep sound, we can't conclude it's gold. We still need to do more research and analysis on the sample. I'm bumping the, the coil so it's as Richard has many years of experience in gold detection, he says that he can feel what material is beneath the ground hearing the beeping sound. And you don't get this sensitive. All right, guys, let's keep going now. There are a lot of rocks, stones, plants, and shrubs in this place, guys. We are climbing down this rocky hill. We are going to the other part and see whether we can detect anything. This isn't really too much of an interest, but what I'm now looking In this at place, we can hear some more noise, guys. When you detect something on the ground, down. and when this detector makes and noise, it also the, shows us the level of the frequency the as you see on the monitor now. Right. There is a separate so the, frequency for gold, and Richard are, says that, that we area, can roughly decide what kind of metal or mineral present under the ground by checking the frequency. Pretty high. One, not really. No, it's just I don't know. Yeah, it's just now. Like let's that. clear this place a yeah, bit and continue searching. Away. And then you're getting a much more. That's really high, as in on the surface. Yeah. So what, what's As the you see on the are, monitor, the numbers are deviating from two, zero three, to hundred. So Richard says, the if there is gold under the ground, this detector will show us the numbers oh, around yeah. fifty to sixty. But, you know, the, sh the one thing gold detectors don't tell us is whether it's laying on its side or vertical. Oh, okay. Because even more. Richard reckons there is something in this place. We are going to clear, scrape off the topsoil and continue searching. Yeah, I think that's good. Look at that. Do you reckon it was that rock? Yeah. Well, whatever it was. I dragged it out. Very quickly, we've changed it. Yeah. Our mate Richard is saying that the sound level has changed now and he reckons there is nothing related to gold here. So we are moving to the next place now. Because we're in much different rock. You guys can hear this detector is making beeping sound when we walk over these rocks. I reckon there should be some metal or mineral mixed in some of these rocks. Look at this place here. There are signs of someone being here and dug this place. We can also hear beep sound from the detector around this place. There should be definitely someone being here and done a bit of gold or any other kind of detection. Yep. And look, there's another big hole. Yeah. 
In this place also we can see a hole dug before. There must be someone who has been involved in gold detection in this area. We can hear beeping sound from this place as well. Let's scratch this place and see what we can find from here. You might see it straight away, and then you may not. What's that? That's a leaf. Right. Keep going, Pete. Just, a, just one, yeah, just a wide, two or three. He's in there. We can hear more noise now. Um, just. So, what I was thinking of mm -hmm. is we just straight a wide square to, and just to clear. Yep, in case anything has gone into the air, something like a shot. Richard is showing us this is how the surface needs to be scratched, and we, scratch. and we can still hear the beeping sound. There is something beneath the ground. So it's still there. Hmm. Right? Now I can use a pinpointer. As you see guys, more okay, noise so is coming from that point only. That's now let's right. dig and scratch so this place to find out from the where the beeping point. sound is coming. Right. To pick up an, something and to pinpoint. It's like a, a little bullseye target mm, button. Mm. And so with this part here, you go around and you loosen it all up. And then switch over to scrape it out. <clears throat> Going there? That's about where you were pinpointing before. Yeah. Still there. As we are hearing strong signal from this place, Richard has started digging this place seriously. Let's see what we can find from this place. We can still hear some sound, but not a strong signal though. Richard has started using his pinpoint detector. This pinpoint detector is accurate when you check suitable rocks and soil particles. This detector shows us the numbers around 60 to 70. Okay. So that is gold's frequency. We need to find out the material behind this yeah. beeping noise. Needs to be touching it. And and this is the mystery, right? <laughs> yeah. 
right? We got another place making the beeping sound, guys. Ooh. Oh, this place has got some strong signal, guys. Let's clear and scratch this place and search for what we can find from here. Sound. Something in there. In yeah. That's that's the noisiest one we have ever, ever heard. Something has been Today. here to clear this ground, obviously. So that's a solid sound, guys. So there'll be something there. Mm -hmm. Not not saying what it is, but it's something. Now, for something machinery like to be here and dig this out before the vegetation grew back it could have been a grader yep. what richard and tells you know, us is our detector is making solid sound here some, and there should be something in this place it might be gold yeah, any strong broken. metals if someone used any machinery like excavator or grader in this place it might be a chip of iron too Let's dig this place and see what's the metal or material making us so much of strong signal and sound. Yeah. Get the metal away. What we can do is use the pin pointer. <laughs> Richard has started using his pin point detector now. As you see here, the pinpoint detector is making a beeping sound when you something point at this rock. Mm -hmm. There is something in this because rock. Because of the solid mass this is, that would have been helping amplify the bounce back. So we can take that back to the camp. Mm -hmm. We can scratch it into the... We are going to take this rock back to our place and do a bit of research. And then this rock here. Mm -hmm. This small rock piece mm -hmm. also giving us the signals. There is something in this one as well. So take yep. There's a, this little spot has got lots of something in it. Mm. So this would be good to take back, put into the goal pan. Look at this soil it. particle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can also detect something and in this and soil and particle. If there's any anything of interest, yeah. metal or whatever, we'll be able to see it better. Yeah, right. Tiny, you can pick up the Let's well, check um, other particles as well and see what we can find from here. So put it in this. We are going mm. to take Plastic. all the particles yep. which gave us strong signals back to our place yeah. and we are going to check them. So, yeah, look, there it is. What? See it? It's the swarf. Is it, what do you mean swarf? Steel. Is it steel swarf, is it, or is it very... Um... No, that's just rock. Okay, so it must be just crystallizing. there what's that no looks like a tree root that mm. could have been a bit of wire
I'll get something in there. It's, it's all that red -ish oh, it's dirt. It's iron. Is it? Mm. It's very interesting. And we've come across a lot of it. And this is this is what you wash gold with. It looks like that. Yeah. And you get little bits of specks, specks and stuff mm, mm. when you wash it. And all you need to do is find a tiny little nugget. Jesus, how good is that one? Mm. Richard yeah. says that the gold usually mixed in this kind of soil and there is a high possibility that we may find gold from the soil What's particles we that? collected. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's go back to our place, yeah. wash everything and see what we can find. Yeah. That, that's... Um, I'm going to fill it in and we're just going to keep moving and because you, you can always come back here another weekend. Well. All right guys, we got a scoop of rocks and soil particles here and when you scan them with a strong magnet, so all the iron particles are attracted to the magnet. We are going to remove them and take yeah. the rest to our place to check for gold. It, small grains of gold can be in there as well. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you, you don't necessarily throw it out, you still got to do the sieving yeah. and washing. And that's what I said, you just stuck them on there, your legs. Is that why you put that there? Yeah. I didn't even see that. Yeah. No, so, on our way back in this place also we can detect something. Our point director is also making a steady noise here. Let's see what's present here. That could be iron. There. Yeah. Keep sweeping till you get really positive hit. Right. Right. Just, just without pushing aside, just keep moving it around. So it was a small object on top. There is no sound now. It looks strange guys. Maybe we would have kicked that away when searching. Small. 
it's making noise again now. I'm not sure what's here. Sometimes it makes more noise and then it goes off suddenly. We need to check this place more. What's this? What's this? What's that? <laughs> Feel it. Tin. Uh, is it, it alfoil? Alfoil? Yeah, something like that. Put the detector on it. This is the <laughs> material that was making noise. This one here is an aluminium foil and as it was in the shape of dry leaves, we couldn't find that easily. Not only gold, any metals like this can also make signals on the detector. And wide, it gave a strong signal back, mm. as opposed to being vertical yep. and in the ground and mm. just giving you one beat. And that's just being in the color of the leaf, dried leaves. Yeah. And leaves. Alright guys, now we are heading towards our place and after reaching there, we will grind the rocks and soil particles then wash them to search for gold. Now we are home and we have started grinding the rocks and soil particles we brought here. We are doing this in a gold pan and after this we can wash and search for gold. grinding flour. Mm. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Back in old days. Yep. <laughs> we are done with the grinding now and when we check these grinded particles with a pinpoint detector you guys can notice that there is a continuous beeping sound as intense. the particles are well mm, grinded and mixed well. Smashed up now. Yep. Are you getting angry? Yeah. <clears throat> you guys would have noticed previously yep. that this rock was making Nothing much beep sound. Yeah. But now 
it's not making any noise as the metal or mineral yeah, particle from this rock, the rock has been extracted it's and grinded well. Iron or something in it. Now let's mix water into the grinded particles That's and nice. wash them well. After washing the particles, yeah. we can pan them with this gold yeah, pan. When you do that, sure. all the loose particles with less weight yeah. will be washed away and the metals like gold and iron which are heavy will stay on this pan. Jumped up on the bed this morning, got a bit cool. Yeah. Oh. So I'm just trying to. Gold is the heaviest item in the whole pan. Mm. Oh. And so washing like this, getting in there and the dust and, and all of that, it just gets any gold that's in there, finely grained or whatever, just makes it all fall to the bottom. and you just keep doing that until the water's clean. Yep. It's a small town called Pine Creek. Yeah, I went there, I took a video out of there. They did a gold mining from 1850 yes. till 19... Yeah. Once a year, yeah. the first weekend of June, mm -hmm. they have a gold panning competition. Oh, okay. So that'll be... Oh, that's gone. <clears throat> that would have... That would have happened already, wouldn't it? Oh, great dog thing. Oh, so it's coming up. We need to keep panning these washed particles until the loose particles are gone, water becomes there. clean, and we can deduct something on the pan. anything that's tempted to go out. Yep. <clears throat> and you should always... Um, Make sure the water is going in that direction, isn't it? Where you got, the got the lines here, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you, <clears throat> you just hold back the rock. Yep. And just let the, the wash go out. No, nothing as yet, but it'll be. All right guys, we have done a fair amount of panning and the water is clean now. Let's check these particles using our pinpoint detector now. Our detector is still making beeping sounds. There should be some iron or gold particles. What Richard reckons is it should be iron. A specific rock, I think. Mm. Nothing. Oh, uh, just I think it might be iron, Pete, but <clears throat> it's just one rock.
Can yep. you see that black grain? Yep. That's the iron. iron. Yep. yep. And it's in that you sh you would hopefully see your gold. Mm. So which is um, heavy iron or gold? Gold. Gold. Oh. Yep. By far. <clears throat> so we're going to wash it all in. Give it a good sideways shake. Get it all down the bottom. The bottom there. <clears throat> So we we were close, you would say. Yep. And uh, <coughs> shows the black when you look at the place I mean, where Richard is pointing, you can see some black grains. They are iron uh, particles, and they were mixed in the yep. rocks and black. soil particles we collected. So it's iron guys, if there was gold, we would have seen golden shiny grinds instead of these black grinds. It did. Maybe someone found the... Alright guys, we don't have much luck today. What we got today are just iron particles. In this video, you guys would have seen how we can detect and find gold in Australia. It's pretty common in every country. Unfortunately, we couldn't find any gold today, but we found iron. And I have done my best to explain how this process is done. I hope you guys would have liked this video. And if you did so, leave a thumbs up on this video. Please consider subscribing to our channel and hit the bell icon to watch videos like this every week. I will see you all in another great video. Till then, thanks for watching and cheers.